Yes, so the big news is that AFC have finally had the FIFA ban lifted. This means that they are able to register some of their players. Rather, they're able to register their players and uh, on will proceed more on that in terms of their payment structure. So let's jump straight into the video. Gormai win the FKF Charity Shield Cup by beating Kakamega Homeboys. The game ended 1 1. However, Gormai beat Kakamega Homeboys 4 2 in a penalty shootout. So, in other big news, St. Anthony's boys beat Dagoretti High School 2 goals to nil. The Solidarity boys from Kitale are now the national champions and have already been drawn in the East African Games secondary schools and will be in Pool A. Many might not know, but AFC were about to be removed from the FKF Premier League due to their various issues. Nevertheless, an agreement has been reached between the club and the former coach Patrick over the amount and installments paid. Uh, the club has paid the coach $55,000, which is equivalent to $7,903,500, and will pay my father $27,000. Which is about 3.8 million Kenyan shillings on uh, rather this week when they receive uh, the sports ministry token. Uh, the club has committed to pay a father $40,000, which is about 5.7 uh, before 5th of December 2023. The final installment of $30,000, which is 4.3 million, will be remitted before 5th March. 2024. So this is crazy. This is the payment plan between AFC and the former coach Patrick. Uh, failure to remit any of the installments by the stipulated time will result in Igwe paying a penalty of twenty thousand, which is about twenty thousand dollars, which is about two point eight million uh, for each breach. And it's official. Nairobi United have been promoted to the National Super League. As we mentioned, the game was abandoned in the 85th minute due to crowd management issues. The committee has ruled in favor of Nairobi United, so they will be promoted. Rather, they are now in the Super League. Uh, so basically, the 2023 FKF National Super League promotion playoff has been awarded to Nairobi United. Uh, Zoo FC will be deducted another three points from the 2023-2024 season. And consequently, they will start the league with a negative three uh, points. Zoo FC shall play their first five matches of the 2023-2024 FKF Men's Division 1 league fixtures behind closed doors. On top of all that, Zoo FC have also been fined 300,000 Kenya shillings. Oof. So, as always, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Thank you for watching till the end. Uh, do check out our other social media platforms at Alpha B Love Football. Kindly subscribe to this channel. I hope that the information has been informative and educative. Uh, our other segments, by the way, are Alpha B Mondays, whereby we share uh, motivational stuff as well as tutorial Wednesdays. And so do check them out when you can. So thank you so much. And as always, support Kenyan football.